Hello, I'm Amanda Whittaker, founder of Super Simple Sleep. Welcome. We are going to be talking about the four month sleep regression today. What exactly is it? Why is it hard? Why are things changing? And what exactly to do moving forward with your little one's sleep? So if your little one is four months old or is approaching the four month mark, up until now, their sleep would have been fairly smooth. They would have been able to transition through their sleep cycles with ease. Now, when a baby hits the four month mark, their sleep changes. OK, so their sleep becomes adult like. That means at the end of each sleep cycle, something happens. I'm going to be showing you my journey to sleep what that means and how exactly it is applied to your little one's sleep. So you can understand why people call it a regression because your little one's gone from fairly good at sleeping and nice and smooth to all of a sudden maybe waking up even hourly, two hourly or multiple times in the night and you're thinking why, why are they doing this now? Okay, so their sleep is maturing and it becomes like ours. So us as adults, we don't sleep the whole night through. There are times where we stir, we wake up, we change positions, we might need to go to the toilet, grab a drink. Okay, that's us coming to the end of a sleep cycle. And we have gone from asleep to fully awake. Now for us as adults, it's fairly easy for us to get back to sleep. But for your little one, it isn't. It isn't easy if you have helped them go to sleep. I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So this is the journey to sleep that your little ones take. So on the left hand side, you've got at the top there, wide awake, going down towards being fast asleep. There, That's the journey, okay, going from wide awake to fast asleep. Running along the bottom, you've got the sleep cycles. Everyone is different, every baby is different, but they last anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour. Now, if you have helped your little one make their journey to sleep, so from going wide awake to fast asleep, by helping them either by feeding them or rocking them, putting the dummy in, anything like that, when they then wake during the night, come to the end of their sleep cycle and go from fast asleep to wide awake, they will then expect the exact same thing to happen to get them back to sleep. So because you have helped them get to sleep, they will expect the exact same thing. So because their sleep cycles are now maturing, okay, they're adult-like, they will become fully awake from being fast asleep. So they just need your help. So that is why the four-month sleep progression changes a lot of things and people call it a regression because their sleep has just changed. So the key to moving past this is for getting them to self-settle, okay? What exactly that means is that if your little one can get themselves to sleep, going from wide awake to fast sleep all on their own without any intervention when they wake in the night they are able to put themselves back to sleep really quickly okay so it's better for them to get consolidated sleep so the key to moving through the four month sleep progression is to get your little one to self settle okay i hope this has really been helpful guys if it has um please let me know and also let me know if you do have any questions. Um, I hope it's been valuable and I hope you have a great day. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel um, to get all my latest hints and tips.